Hello everyone, welcome back to Medinair. In this video, let's discuss about vitamin K as a continuation of vitamin series. Vitamin K is a fat soluble vitamin and vitamin K is absorbed in the intestine along with chylomicrons. Vitamin K has its stored in the liver and it's transported in plasma along with beta lipoproteins. The greatest dietary source of vitamin K is green leafy vegetables. Also, it is available in soya bean, canola oil and it is present in very small amounts in meat, cheese and egg. And even if one does not have enough consumption of vitamin K in their diet, they can meet the daily requirements of vitamin K, which is because of the production of vitamin K by the intestinal bacteria. And for this to happen, the absorption should be normal. The recommended daily allowance of vitamin K in male is 120 micrograms. In female, it is 90 micrograms. And in case of pregnancy, it is 100 micrograms. And in lactation, it is 100 micrograms as well. Now, let's look at the biochemical role of vitamin K. And as we all know, the vitamin K has its primary function in coagulation, right? So the factors, the coagulation factors which are dependent on vitamin K are the factor 2, factor 7, factor 9 are Christmas factor and factor 10 which is Stuart power factor. The gamma carboxylation of glutamic acid also requires vitamin K as cofactor. If you want detailed explanation about what is gamma carboxylation of glutamic acid, then please do let me know in the comment section below and I will make a video about it. Also, the vitamin K dependent gamma carboxylation is necessary for the functional activity of osteocalcin as well as the structural proteins of kidney, lung and spleen. So osteocalcin is synthesized by the osteoblast and seen only in the bone. Now let's look at the causes for deficiency of vitamin K. As we all know, absorption of vitamin K from the intestine serves the major source of vitamin, right? So the malabsorption of lipids and if, the, if there is prolonged antibiotic therapy which destroys all the intestinal flora and the gastrointestinal infection which also leads to destruction of the gastrointestinal flora and the causes for deficiency of vitamin K. The deficiency of vitamin K manifests as hemorrhage, post-traumatic bleeding, internal bleeding, bruises and ecchymosis, prolongation of prothrombin time, delayed clotting time, and warfarin and dicumerol, similarity with vitamin K. Actually, warfarin and dicumerol look similar, have structural similarity to vitamin K so that they competitively inhibit vitamin K's activity. And also it manifests as fetal warfarin syndrome. And that's the gist of vitamin K, guys. I hope you guys found this video helpful. The other videos of the vitamin series are linked in the description below. So please do check it out. Thanks for watching.